So within mass flow and volumetric flow, I want to show you mole flow or molar flow, and it's how much or how amount of substance flowing. How many moles of that substance are flowing? And once again, it's mole per unit time. You should address this question as how much moles are passing per second in that pipe. And this is a little bit more abstract, but it's more helpful, helpful especially if you are doing chemical reactions. You know that reactions are better to work with moles rather than masses. And if you really don't want to work with moles, especially mechanical engineers or those type of engineers that simply don't like chemistry, you can change them always to mass flow. How do you do that? Well, essentially it's with the molecular weight. Mass equals mole times molecular weight. Or you can change that sentence, this one dividing, mole equals mass divided by molecular weight. And therefore, since this is always true, we can, as with the volume we did, uh, mass flow, which is kilograms per second, equals mole flow, which is mole per second, times molecular weight, which is kilogram per mole. You can see seconds go with seconds, and you kill moles with moles, and you get kilograms per kilograms. Perfect. Then, well, I think I'm going to do it in another video. What's up guys? It's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.